My name is Keith. I'm in the city of Mississauga, which is in Ontario, Canada. I'm here to talk about the world of volleyball, the sport of volleyball. Today, specifically, I want to update you on the qualification process going on right now for men's indoor volleyball. And of course, this is 2016 now. The Olympics in Rio are, well, this year. It's not far away. But what you may not have realized is the qualification to get your team into the Olympics is this week. This week and this weekend it's going on. So let me update you on what has happened and what is going to happen. First of all, 12 teams in the Olympics, the host country, Brazil, get an automatic spot. They don't have to qualify. They are in. That leaves 11 spots. Two spots went early last fall at the World Cup. And that, so, well, the two teams are Italy and the United States. So they've already qualified. They don't have to qualify a second time, of course. Hmm. So, oh yes, 2015, there was a South American qualifier. Argentina have won it. Argentina now have a spot in the Olympics. So that doesn't leave a lot of spots left. You know those five rings in the Olympic uh, symbol thing? Well, each continent get uh, one team to qualify. So let me get uh, break this down. Africa, Africa is qualifying this week and week end starting very soon. Uh, Europe, Europe are qualifying as of starting Tuesday. And North America, known as North Seca, are playing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, Sunday, this weekend, coming up. So those are the big qualifiers going on right away. Let me get into Europe for a minute. You, there's eight teams in Europe qualifying. They're going to play two pools of four, round robin, then there's semifinals and finals, and only one team, one of those eight teams, get a spot in the Olympics. So let me read them off, too. In one pool, Germany is the hosting country, uh, Poland, Serbia, and Belgium. Wow, those are tough pools. And Russia, Bulgaria, France, and Finland in the other pool. So Europe is a tough place. There's a lot of really good teams there. And only one, one team gets into the Olympics out of those eight. Here in North America, North Seca, four teams are going to do battle. Let me read them off. Uh, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Mexico, and Canada. They're not going to have a playoffs. It's simply a round-robin format. You play the other three teams. The team with the best record at the end advances, gets the deal, well, advances, gets the Olympic spot, gets into the Olympics as the qualify, qualification winner. Say the words. That's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, that shows you how tough it is in Africa. Same thing. Okay. I left out one part of it here. Asia. Asia. Never mentioned Asia. So what's happening in May, June time, time frame is Asia are having their qualification, but they're calling it a world tournament. So not only are the Asian teams playing, but all the second and third place teams out of the losers of those other qualifiers, they get to play in this world tournament. And that means, hmm, um, yeah, there's going to be three or four spots from that tournament get the last few Olympic spots. And, uh, and oh yeah, the top, the top Asian team get a spot, even if they don't finish at the top of the tournament. Just the top Asian team get a spot in the Olympics, so Asia gets a spot. And there's another little tournament going on, this intercontinental tournament. There's going to be four teams in that one around the same time, uh, May or June. And four, well, out of those four teams, one of them gets a qualification into the Olympics, and that'll be the last one. So anyway... Then you'll have your 12 teams. But the whole point is, this week, live webcast, whatever, it's going to be great volleyball, Europe, America, Africa. Wow, it's going to be tough and tense. And you don't expect this this early in in January, you kind of think it's going to take place a while from now. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, there'll be live webcasts on. I'll get to watch a lot of this tense action and get to see who qualifies for the Olympics. Anyway, that's all I want to tell you now. I will do another news report about the women's version of the Olympic qualification. Slightly different, but kind of much, pretty much the same. The teams are different, of course. Anyway, this is Keith and Mississauga updating you on what's happening with the Olympic qualification for volleyball. Bye for now.